Hey everybody, it's Peter from Brayford Kia and today we're talking used cars and this is a nice one. This is stock number TE221A. It's a 2017 Acura MDX Elite package. It's white. Let's go take a look. All right, so why are you watching a Kia uh, dealership's YouTube channel looking at an Acura MDX? Well, that's pretty simple. We now have this really nice vehicle called Telluride and these people decided they wanted to try that and that helped us take this on trade. So let's take a look at it. This has got everything. So. Out front, LED lights, very similar to our Kia Soul that now does this as well. Uh, down there you've got the little washer so you can wash just the headlights of course. Uh, you've got LED fog lights as well down the bottom, I don't know if you can see them, we'll try to go a little closer. A little uh, bit duller day today. So big Acura symbol out front and right below that you've got a little tiny camera. We're going to talk about that in a few minutes. You've got some nice chrome trim around the front here so you can see a little bit of chrome down there, just a lot of little details of course in this car. Coming around to the uh, wheels, we'll take a look at them. So these are nice big 20 inch uh, wheels and rims. They're a nice sort of bright silver and uh, darker gray. Chrome trim along the bottom there. You've got chrome roof racks along the top. So if you're uh, someone who's outdoorsy and active, you can take your stuff up top there. Along the back, you've got sort of the built-in dual exhaust uh, sort of hidden into the bodywork, which I quite like. SH all-wheel drive. SH stands for super handling all-wheel drive. So this is a torque to vectoring all-wheel drive system that uh, really does help with the handling. It's quite uh, quite nice. Come along the back. This is a keyless entry car. Not every keyless entry car has the buttons on the back doors. I don't know if you can see the button there. But not everyone has it on the back door as well. Of course Acura does. So there you go. Same in the front door. So you can keep the key in your pocket. You can open the door. All stuff you would expect. We're gonna hit this little button right here. Steering wheel comes down and towards me because it's a powered steering wheel. There's what your gauges look like. You've got a temperature gauge on the far left side, tachometer just inside of that. In the center of your display, you have an information display panel. So you can customize that to a whole bunch of different things. Then you've got a speedometer and to the right of that is a fuel gauge. So simple kind of dash. You've got a dual screen system here. So uh, I'll try to show you here. Navigation is up top and you've got another screen down low. So. Uh, let's see how we can uh, show you those screens here. Let's put it in reverse for a second. When we do that, your radio stays the same, but your backup camera is there. Remember I pointed out that front camera at the front? That gives you a bird's eye view of the car. So again, real hard to show you on the camera. I'm showing some glare here. I don't see any glare from the driver's seat. I'm just trying to get the camera close enough that you can see things and that brings glare into the picture. Uh, but you've got the camera there, which you can set as just a backup camera, which is on the left, and a bird's eye view camera on the top. So. Uh, very common in this uh, class of vehicle. We have them on some of our Kias as well. And that leaves this touch screen available for all of your media device. So there's a lot of media to talk about in this car. Of course, you've got AM, FM, satellite radio in this car. Any car you buy from us with satellite radio, you get three free months of satellite radio. You've got a CD player up here, but you've also got a little CD slot down here. Now that CD slot, I don't know if you can read that, it says for DVD video. There is a DVD player in this car for the back. So you've got that as well. We'll get to that in a second. You've got dual zone automatic climate control, so you can control the temperature here, uh, right there. Uh, and of course, right now the driver's set to 19, the passenger's set to 20. And again, all this glare that you're seeing, uh, don't be too uh, worried about that. That's just because of where I'm holding the camera from the driver's seat. I don't have any issues at all. Uh, you've got your seat uh, ventilating and heating uh, seats there, so uh, you can warm and cool the seats uh, right from the uh, buttons right there. We're to scroll across here. You've got some wood looking trim. I'm not sure that's real wood or not, but it certainly looks real. It's got some texture to it as well. So that kind of is echoed in the door there. Everything you touch is soft touch, so that's super nice. Everywhere you touch anything, it just feels good to touch. The seats, of course, are typical Acura, which means they're sports seats. They, um, especially with that super handling all-wheel drive, they give you some comfortable wide seats, but they also have nice bolstering, nice support. And you've got, of course, the contrasting piping there, contrasting stitching down there, and you've got perforations in the seat. That, of course, is for the ventilation as well as for design. Center console, we're gonna take a quick look at that. In here, you've got, again, that wood trim echoed again. Down below that, you've got two more USB ports, another third USB port that's a, uh, so you got two two and a half amp, one one amp, and you've got a regular plug in here as well. Can't really show you everything. Uh, regular plug for like your laptop, auxiliary port, you've got the headphones, the wireless headphones for that entertain, or sorry, entertainment system. So again, we're gonna show you that right here. Oops, getting my mic in there, shot there. So there's the rear seats, and it's a five passenger, actually, sorry, it's a seven passenger car. That infotainment or entertainment system is right there. So that is a wide screen, and we're looking at it as it's up on the ceiling. It'll pop down. Maybe we'll try to get to look at that in a second. 
If you see above the passenger seat here, you'll see it does have a sunroof there. So you've got a nice uh, sunroof above the driver and passenger, and you've got your entertainment system above your rear seat passengers. Over on here, you've got your Honda's Blue Link, or I don't know if it's called Blue Link system, but is there, I think that might be Hyundai's Blue Link system. Anyway, you've got the, the Link system. If I can try to get it in focus, there we go. All your buttons there, which you can subscribe to to get uh, extra services as well. You do have a self-dimming mirror. Hey, there I am. Hi, everyone. You have a nice self-dimming mirror here. You also have self-dimming mirrors on the outside. So they are dimming mirrors. Your blind spot detection is not on the mirror. It's actually listed right there. So you've got lane keeping assist, blind spot detection, uh, forward collision warning, all kinds of things. We'll take a look at the steering wheel now. You do have paddle shifters. They're in behind here. I don't know if you can see. It's hard to get on the video here. Let me just scroll down. There we go. So you can see them there, the plus there, the minus is over here. They're perfectly located if I'm using my fingers to drive as opposed to display things. In this section here, you've got that information display panel. You can change that all here. You've got your cruise control over there. Down here, part of the smart cruise control, that uh, distance you can keep. Lane keeping assist over here. Heated steering wheel, keeps your fingers nice and warm in the winter. And of course your audio and Bluetooth controls on this part of the steering wheel. Automatic headlights, uh, you've got automatic wipers as well. Uh, down here you've got all of your safety or extra safety features as well. Uh, parking brake is over here as well. It used to have a little foot brake on the left side, now it's a little uh, touch button there. Of course they are powered seats here, power driver seat, and they are memory seats as well. Um, power windows, power locks, all the stuff of course you would expect. Uh, I should show one more thing, I don't know if I showed the gear shift yet. So it's a push button gear shift system. So pushed it into park, pull it into reverse, push it into drive, and of course they all light up differently. So drive is green, reverse is also green, there's two side lights, park is red. So uh, dynamic mode there, which is again part of that sport mode uh, package. And if you want the car to turn off at stop lights, it can do that in the right conditions, you can hit that button there. So lots to talk about this car. We'll hop in the back seat. I don't usually hop in the back seat, but this car of course has a lot to show. While we do that, I'm just gonna hop out. Here's the uh, key fob. So nice uh, big key fob. Looks like it's got a remote start there as well. Engine hold it to start. So again, nice, easy to keep in your pocket. And it's labeled as driver one. That's because the car will know based on the key fob um, who you are. So if you set the steering wheel and the seats and those kinds of things up for driver one, you take this key fob, it'll be adjusted to you. You take the second key fob, it'll be adjusted to the second driver. So those memory seats are also like that. Oh, back here, let's pop this screen down. Lots to show you. Again, big wide screen. So I just popped it down, excuse me. There we go. Big wide screen. Again, this is a wide angle camera. It distorts things just a little bit, but it is still a very wide, wide, wide screen there. Up there, you've got some uh, channel controls, other things like that. Scrolling straight down from the screen to the middle of the armrests. There you've got the rear heat seat, heated seats. HDMI inputs, all of the other inputs. So if your kids want to have gaming systems, two USB ports as well, if they're uh, charging their devices back here. Lots and lots of options. You do have two more seats in the back. They are down right now. We're going to look at the trunk. And to do that, I should point out one more thing. Our Sorrentos have this a lot and the Accurate as well. This little thing here doesn't just show well on camera, but little shades built into the window. So we do that with our cars. Accurate does it with theirs as well. Smart system. We're going to pop open the trunk by holding this button down right here. It says hold. Of course, it's a power lift gate, so that's going to pop up. I should mention, in addition to that uh, 360 camera, the backup camera, you also have the backup beepers here. Those are the little sensors there that will beep. This person, of course, got rubber mats in their whole car. Um, that covers up where the rear seats would be. They would pop up right, these two panels would come up for that, or sorry, those two panels up there would come up and you'd have seats there and you still have a little bit of trunk space back here. Uh, if the seats are down, you've got a nice long floor. You can see it has seats because the seat belts are there. And that's uh, how we're telling. You've also got the power outlet back there. Uh, cup holders, push buttons to put the seats down. This car really does have it all. We've got a number of luxury SUVs right now. We've got a Tesla over there. We've had a few Teslas. Uh, we've got a Land Rover Discovery if you're interested in that. We've got two BMW X3s as well. We do sell luxury cars here at Brantford Kia. We've been doing well with our Stingers, doing well with our Tellurides, and uh, we take these cars in on trade as well. So this is not an uncommon thing for us to have a car of this level. Some people are surprised to hear that, but uh, don't be. So if you're interested in this nice luxury SUV or other ones just like it, feel free to give us a call. Phone number is 519-304-6542. You can also reach us online, www.brantfordkia.ca. Of course, the easiest way to reach us is just click that link in the description. That'll take you right to our sales team. Thanks everybody for watching.